argument if he were to, you know, place better, maybe even win another, win a great event. He could win Smash Three, Ultimate Summit, and that would two, be interesting. On to the match, though. We have Fox versus Diddy Kong, giving me flashbacks to Smash 4 days once again. You don't see Diddy Kong used as often because I believe he just he doesn't kill as well. If I believe, I remember Zero saying he just didn't like the character simply because he just didn't play as well. But JD already playing well, gathering a smooth 71% on ZD. Oh, approaching with that monkey flip will be punished by ZD. Now, ZD might be down now, but if he can get that signature box vortex going, he could easily get this lead back in 15 seconds or so. Another risky monkey flip. ZD landing some up tilts. Here's the rapid jab. Ooh, the illusion, the Sakurai combo. I was expecting to see him up there off of that, but he did four there. That must have been a miss, miss in him. Oh, grabbing the banana. Oh, he tried to sort of edge guard him with the banana. And he, oh, the shine spike. Oh, but it backfires. How unfortunate. Getting the explosive barrels to the face. He is out of there. He can't reflect that. JD taking this lead. But there goes. Fox does not care if you have the lead. All he needs is one up smash and it's back in his favor. But wait a minute. ZD's off stage again. Makes it back. All right, Banana. And he can't confirm a grab off of that. I can see why people don't play Diddy Kong as often because I know back in Smash 4, he would easily be able to convert grabs off of that Banana here. Oh, great edge cancel for that monkey flip. Another few up tilts from ZD. JD is now the one stuck at the ledge. Goes back onto the stage. All right, JD trying to find a way to make some more damage. He lands that monkey flip. ZD landing another illusion, but once again, he can't convert off of it. Oh, watch out for those peanuts. Oh, no punish on that Firefox. We see the forward throw to keep ZD off stage. The up tilt. All right, a big greedy on that up smash. He lands another one that almost kills. Third time to charm? No, ZD says my up smash is better and I'm gonna take the lead now. <laughs> Just tossing that banana off stage like it's trash. It kind of is trash in this game. Well, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not as good as it used to be. And ZD, there we go. That's the for box vortex I was talking about. Just landing four up airs. However, JD landing that down smash, we have a last stock situation. But JD looks, or ZD rather, looks like he might just take this. All he needs now is one up smash. Who explosive barrels in? Incredibly risky. And there's it. There it is. The signature nair into up smash from Z ZD. JD, however, playing much better than I expected. I did not expect to see... I thought I was going to see just another 3-stock, another just a clean 2-0. But instead, JD proving that he has potential. He's proving that he could take a game. And with this counter pick being Final Destination, he might have the chance. This counter pick makes sense, of course, because without platforms, Fox cannot get the extensions he usually has. He can't get those up airs into up airs into up airs and so forth. So this stage will probably be a lot better for JD. And I think another reason he might have picked this stage is because Fox's recovery can be more easily punished. I know with his illusion allows him to easily escape to the platform, but without platforms, he'll have to either recover high and potentially be punished for it, or recover low and be edge guarded. See a down tilt up throw into nothing. Diddy Kong doesn't have the grab combos that he used to. ZD landing in and getting that sort of late hit up in there. It's so powerful. Ooh, JD just throwing out the crazy force match. Oh, great parry from ZD. I know ZD and Light are both very great when it comes to parry punishes. You see that parry into up smash happen so often with both of them. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it instead. Instead, he punishes the monkey flip on stage with an up smash. And this time, ZD is saying that he might have had the lead last game, but I am the better player, and I am going to prove it right here. Go oh, down here into fair, up air, 47% already in the blink of an eye. Tries to catch the monkey flip with an air. Z 
JD is playing so much better. Oh, and as I say that, he goes off stage. However, JD giving him too much respect, he could have easily punished that. I feel like he could just go for the Diddy Kong Dare, you know? That solid spike could take a, could have taken the stock. Instead, ZD is still living and is on the verge of taking JD second. Down throw into up air. This is not the hoo-ha day state, JD. You can't do that anymore. Oh, smart from ZD, creating more pressure by just keeping that banana at the left. Oh, ZD, I think he wanted the parry there, but he let go of his shield too early, and JD will take that stock any day of the week. ZD just keeping his distance. He knows all he needs is that Nair into up smash. And ZD, he's, he looks like he's going to take this set. But we saw JD suddenly take the stocks. Like, he took that first stock pretty... Uh oh. JD managing to jump out of those up tilts. Those used to be a lot more volatile. Thankfully, it's easier to avoid at those very low percents. Trying to get that drag down fair. What are you doing, ZD? Alright. Let's see if we can do something with this banana. No. He gets back here. Oh, is that it? No way. That still works. That's crazy. ZD taking it with the drag down fair. Another clean 2 0. These. Players are 